So digging through some boxes, I found my old Baofeng. It's programmed for UHF-CB, which is probably not a good thing. <clears throat> Sorry, I've got COVID, so I'm a bit crackly. Um, yeah, it's programmed for UHF-CB, but of course I couldn't find a battery pack, so I had to 3D print and build a quick battery pack for it, just with a couple of 18650s inside it. Uh, thank you, Thingiverse, for that. And um, I also happen to have a shitty antenna that works okay. Um, then I was like, programming cables, cool. I've got this one that's got one wire hanging off it, or two wires hanging off it, and one wire still connected. And this one here, which doesn't even have a um, FTDI chip on it, or a UART bridge on it. So I figure, why not use the flipper for this? So we all know the flipper's got a UART bridge built into it. So using some headers here, I can buzz out where the connectors are supposed to go here, according to this diagram here. Uh, and we can see that TX data is on the middle of 2.5mm plug, TX data. Ground data is on the common of the 2.5mm. And the RX data is on the common of the 3.5mm connector. So we'll build this and see how we go. So here we've got my trusty multimeter. Put it over to continuity test. And it will beep when they are connected. And so here we'll put these all separate. And measure our common on here to so we can go our black wire is ground, our TX data is red, and our RX data should be white. Okay. So now let's get this out of the way. Move that out of the way. And we've got our plug here and some solder. Now we want to just tin these very briefly. So I want ground which is there you can see on here if this camera will focus uh, ground SIO TX RX yep so we want ground here TX RX you'll find that when you're soldering that if you tin everything first it just becomes so much easier Now we'll connect our TX to here and our RX to here, like so. Don't do this with the flip with it plugged into the flipper, you'll damage with the heat, you'll damage your flipper pins. that connected there get our tablet move this stuff out of the way we'll get our tablet with chirp running plug in our USB-C cable into our flipper. On our flipper we want to go to, you can see this GPIO 
UR, uh, USB to UART bridge. You want to go config, change it to channel 1, and then press back. Yeah, on here, load up device manager and find what port our flipper is on. Um, I'm seeing COM1, COM8, COM9, so I'll just unplug it. Okay, it's showing up either COM8 or COM9. I'll re plug it in sometime today. <clears throat> Why didn't it detect that? Okay, so after restarting both the flipper and my tablet, I've still got COM8, COM9 so I don't know what's going on there, but I'm going to load up Chirp anyway. We're going to plug my newly made programming cable into the Baofeng. I can already see that I've got one byte of data come through on the flipper. So we'll see what happens. Hey. Um, Radio, download from radio, we make sure that we've got COM8. If COM8 doesn't work, then we'll go COM9. Go Baofeng, UV5R, OK, OK, and it's not cloning. Radio did not respond. And no data on the flipper, so we'll try the other COM port, COM9. I can see there's data, but on the flipper, we can see we've got data coming through, but nothing through on the uh, on chirp. So this means that we've got our RX and TX lines around the wrong way on our flipper. So we'll switch that over now. <clears throat> so same thing as before, unplug it. Turn off our radio. Get my third hand over here to hold the plug because I'm being lazy and normally I would hold the wires, but eh. Desolder those two. We'll hook our red wire up to this one and our white wire over to here. We'll plug this back into the flipper, lining up ground, of course. So ground. So that one, RX, TX. And put that back into view. Got chirp here, radio, download from radio. We've got Baofeng, COM9, UV5R. Make sure we turn our radio on too. Okay, and look at that, it's cloning through the flipper. And done. I can now get these bloody wires out of the way. I can now go through and change all my channels that I want, or even better, you can go to, where is it, import somewhere, it's been so long since I've played around with the chirp, import from data source, uh, repeater book, proximity query, and let's say I'm in Melbourne, so Melbourne, 
distance at say 50 kilometers might even be 50 miles I don't know what uh, trip chooses but distance of 50 band all bands <clears throat> And we're just going to import all. Yeah, why not? Uh, we've got 2 meters, 70 centimeters there. Uh, we're just going to go auto. So that way they all line up in consecutive order. And go OK. And if we scroll down. I can still see that I've got some CB channels here. So I might have to delete those later. Oh, Chip's not liking me. Yeah, lots of CB channels still. But that's fine. I'm not too worried. I'll delete them later for the, the um, reference of this video. We're just going to load up some new channels, upload into the radio now. You can see the flipper's doing some nice flashing stuff and data's going crazy on the flipper. That's just what we need. I'm drinking a uh, instant coffee here as it's uh, 9 o'clock in the morning over here in Australia. And we're done. Now, thing now boots up with all our normal with our um, channels. So yeah, unfortunately, I don't have any decent local repeaters that I'd be able to get to with this antenna. Yeah, um, REC might activate. Nope. Oh, I know why, because this has been limited in frequencies, so it won't actually transmit on hand bands until I fix that later on. There you go. Uh, flipper running with the Baofeng through Chirp on a Windows tablet. Thank you.